journey. I'm going to predate myself because I remember before applications were delivered in browsers when they used to have to have clients on the desktops. Um, that was my early days of my career. So look, it, it, it has been a journey. I think the, the shift that's taken place over the last, gosh, 25 plus years that I've been involved in, in the IT industry and the way that um, today the location of the data becomes less relevant and the ability to orchestrate it. And this is, this is really across all applications, but particularly as you start to think about a sales process, the ability to start to orchestrate across many different silos and bring data from many different places and use that data to provide signals um, to, to, to sellers, signals to sales managers around how they, they coach and how they test and how they continue to help teams improve their strategy. Um, is, is something that I don't think we could have thought of when, certainly when I started, right? The, the ability to start to use things like conversational intelligence, the ability to look at um, uh, customer interactions with sentiment analysis in, in um, you know, the email traffic going backward and forward to, to start to use that to identify both where there are potential risks, but also where there's potential opportunities to pivot strategy. Um, is, is something that I don't think any of us originally kind of ever thought would be we would be getting to that point. And, you know, I, I talk to customers now, they, they talk about using things like voice sentiment analysis on inside uh, sales teams calling uh, records uh, in real time. And so they can uh, be able to triage, be able to provide feedback to the, the inside sellers or to the customer service reps. Um, you know, the, these sorts of evolutions and the way that that data is now available and the way that even though that data might exist in lots of different places and coming from lots of different sources, you don't have to put it into one central database anymore for it to be valuable for you. And that's where a tool like a visor comes in because it allows you to pull all of those signals together and distill it and actually be able to use all of that data to be able to better help the teams, help the customers. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of old school sales leaders say it's all about closing the deal. Well, if you do all the right things with the customers, you help them understand the right value, you're bringing the right assets, the right information, the right conversations at the right points in time, the deal will close. The cut, it's, it's helping the teams help the customers if you keep that mindset. But as a leader, how do, you, how do you identify that? There's so many different signals coming at you. There's so many different things you can look at. Are we having the right kind of meetings? Are they making the right kind of calls? Are they interacting with the right people? you know we talked about sentiment analysis and the way you can start to use ai around the language that's being captured the way that you can now automate email publishing into to crm tools and be able to use that to to assess and, and identify risk um is not something i think we ever thought was going to be powerful but it's it's there today and i think what we're now seeing is with the the level of sophistication of the the tools and the platforms is starting to match what the sellers want. And if as an organization, you're not looking at those signals and you're not evolving the way you help your sales teams move deals through cycles, um, I think it's gonna start to put your organization at risk because in the current <laughs> battle for talent that all organizations are in, um, the sellers are the ones who are gonna look for organizations that are gonna help them be successful and wanna be on their side that aren't just gonna try and drive them to, to enter data into a you know, CRM system because the managers need to see the reports. So I think that journey that we've all been on um, is exciting. I, and I look, I, I look forward to seeing where that goes. What does is, what is augmented reality start to look like in terms of our, some of our processes? What, is, what does the metaverse mean? Um, what, are, what do agents mean? The concept of you know, having personal agents and corporate agents then interacting through bots and frameworks that can start to automate many of the tasks that we've historically relied on humans to do to then free up other areas. It's, it's gonna be exciting to see how that evolves over time. Yes.